It's food is delicious. You know why? These mom and pop places, they make everything in house. Nothing's pre made, nothing's frozen, nothing's clean. <laughs> I'll bet they never have to scramble for supplies from Kuala Lumpur. I have never been there, but I hate that place. You know, we could do it. Do what? This. Make biscuits and gravy? Take back control of our business. I do not understand. America used to have a booming textiles industry, and we moved it all overseas. Why don't we bring it back? Now, the cost will be astronomical. Only at first. But if we could control our socks start to finish, our profit would skyrocket. We could be completely vertically integrated. Everything from spinning to knitting. The whole shebang. Shebang? Magilla. Oh, yes. Other companies would call us when they had shipping problems. And we would gladly help them out. Charging ludicrous fees. We'd be bringing business back to Detroit. Ford, General Motors, Max Dot Therapeutic Hosiery. Mr. Wheeler, do not say all this if you are not serious. I'm as serious as a moisture wicking toasty. Last night, I said you were devil may care, but I was wrong. You are chutzpah. It's a chutzpah. It's a chutzpah. Hey, I thought you'd be asleep. I was staying awake to give you a hero's welcome. Hero's a strong word. I mean, sure, I saved the company from going on there, but maybe hero's right. You must be exhausted. Actually, I'm kind of excited about something. You've decided to go back to Ronnie Max Dots. No, Goodwin's still in charge. Oh. I'm gonna do something bigger. Oh. I'm gonna start up a manufacturing division of Max Dot. So you're not going to be at home all day? No, it's gonna be a lot of work. I gotta find a warehouse, buy knitting machines, sock ovens, those little Made in America stickers with the flags on them. All I heard is that it's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> it's also gonna be expensive. Mm -hmm. We'll have to get a big loan. Have to put up some kind of collateral. Collateral? Yeah, probably the house. This house? Don't worry, we're not gonna lose it. No one ever thinks they're going to lose their house. That's right. Positive thinking. Thanks for talking me into this. You're the best. <laughs> and that was when I knew I could rewire anything. I was six. You said the story was about college. I'm getting there. Oh, did you order dinner, you rascal? No, it must be an unexpected visitor. Oh, hello, cousin. How unexpected. Kofo, I am here spontaneously. Goodwin, you came in the middle of a very interesting story. But don't worry, I will start again. Perhaps first we should let Goodwin tell us why he is here. It is a good thing I am here. You have work tomorrow. You cannot afford to spend your evenings talking until the wee hours. But I am having so much fun. Of course you are. He's a wonderful storyteller. But I cannot allow it. I am sorry, Uncle Tunde, but you must leave. OK, well, you are the bad guy. <laughs> well, I suppose I should be getting home. I'll be back for movie night when Mr. Buzzkill is not around. Thank you for coming to my rescue. He would not stop talking. I tried to take a toilet break, but he continued to tell the story through the door. I am glad to be the person you call when you need to be chastised. <laughs> this is very nice. <laughs> Thank you, cousin. I am proud of you, Kofo. Congratulations. Are you going to watch the Arsenal game? No. Well, I am. Put it on. Calais, Mama Evan. I need you to get my suitcase down from the attic. I have decided to throw myself out on the street before you do. I don't think it was unreasonable to ask my mom for some space. You have made sacrifices since her stroke. Yes. You invited her into your home. You rearranged your life for her. Thank you. But... Here it comes. Have you ever thought about what your mother has given up? Pretty sure you're going to tell me. Now that she is healthy, she spends much of her time alone. Well, I can't devote every second of my life to her. She knows that which is why she went searching for fellowship. Well, why'd she have to find it at my church? Yeah, I just got them to stop calling me White Bob. It is not easy to have your circumstances change suddenly and find yourself as a permanent guest in your child's home. We're not just talking about my mom anymore, are we? Who else would we be talking about? Well, it sounds like you're feeling a little unwanted. So you are kicking me out? No, I'm trying to be sensitive. Go get the suitcase. I'm not doing it. You're here till you die.
Are we ready to begin? Uh, real quick, I'm going to be gone for a bit because for the first time I want an argument in my marriage. Oh. So she threw you out? Abishola and I are going to take Delhi on a little road trip to visit my alma mater. Oh, I would love to return to the Universidad Nova de la Escola. <laughs> I did not know you studied abroad. She went to Portugal for two weeks and spoke with an accent for a year. Oh, mornings, a cup of cafe with my pasta de nata. In the evenings, we danced the fandango alongside the Rio Teja. Are you done? Prosiga. While I'm away, I brought in some reinforcements. Mom! Look who we smuggled in from Malaysia. <laughs> Just kidding. I flew Delta. Let's all give Wadi a warm Max stop welcome. Please, yeah. so good to see you, Wadi. I'm so excited. Now when I put Made in America on my products, I will not be lying. Welcome, Mr. Chow. It is good to have someone whose expertise will complement my own. Does this affect the chain of command? Nope, you're still at the bottom. <laughs> Always nice to have diversity in upper management. Thank you, Christina. So he is upper management? Guys, relax. Wadi has always been a part of this team. The company's growing, so his role's growing, too. Hey, this is your first day in America. I'll show you the town. Yeah, I want to eat a chili dog and buy a gun. I know a place where you can do both. Morning, morning, morning. Working, working, working. Look at this from Chukwemeka. This is his 16th text this morning. He also left four voicemails in which you could tell he had been crying. Poor Chukwemeka. I knew. <laughs> Look, this one was from his mother. Whoa, you got her in all caps. And she spelled foul wrong. Mm -hmm. How embarrassing. <laughs> Terence. Wait, Terence from radiology? Yes, I dipped my pen in company ink. Well. Technically, his pen in my ink. Oh. But I have hit it, and now I will quit it. Mm. Morenike, your pretty girl is desperate. Blah. You cannot get rid of me that easy, Auntie. Ten bucks on a little one. I will get my purse. I thought it would be better if we spoke privately in my office. Please. Pull up a tub of pickles. Chukwe Mecca is devastated by your display at church, which I'm sure was your intention. It was. And what is your plan now? That he and I live happily ever after, and you go away. Take a pickle for the road. I am not going to do that. You don't like pickles? If you succeed in getting rid of me, do you really think that will be the end of it? Yes. So Chukwe Mecca and his mother will suddenly not want him to have children? Yes. <laughs> and see, this will always be a problem. Unless you find someone who will marry him, provide him with children, and is still okay with him having his kemi on this side. And that person is you? Yes. Why would you agree to this? Because my parents will not be satisfied until I am married with children. But men do not interest me. 